What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, super excited to bring you guys one of the coolest looking Pokemon from the Paldea region. We have ourselves a Cerule Edge team for ranked regulation G. Now when it comes to Cerule Edge in previous formats, this Pokemon was actually really strong. But now in regulation G, you don't see this Pokemon too much. So this is going to be a first for me using this Pokemon in regulation G. Looking to grab some wins for you guys. But let's talk about Cerule Edge for our first Pokemon. Cerule Edge has the Grass Terra type, which is easily the best Terra type to pair up with its ability, Flash Fire. It's got Lumberry as its item, Rock and Bitter Blade, Shadow Sneak, Will O Wisp, and Protect. Really do like this moveset because you got first turn priority, you got Stab and HP recovery with Bitter Blade, and then you can burn physical attackers, which is always a power move. Terrapagos is going to be a restricted Pokemon on today's team, and let's talk about it. Terra Shift, obviously, as its ability, with the Power Herb as its item. Normally, you set up special attack boost with Calm Mind with Terrapagos, but for this one, this one's Rocket Power Herb and Meter Beam to get off a big time rock hitting move, and on top of that, get that special attack boost. Furthermore, this thing has Earth Power, Protect, and Terra Star Storm for its rest of its moves. Other four Pokemon on today's team features Tornadus, Chiyu, Stone Journer, and Tinkaton. Tinkaton's going to be a fun off meta fake out user with big time damage with Gigaton Hammer. Tornado's going to be a great speed control Pokemon. Chiyu, big time special attacker with the choice scarf. And last but not least, Stone Journer, a nice wide guard user. And on top of that, Rock and Power Spot as his ability so ally Pokemon can do more damage. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop to our first match showcasing this Cerule Edge and Terrapagos team. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a Trick Room team. They got Ice Rider Cadillacs, alongside with Ursaluna, Indeedee, Urshifu, Ogre Pond, and Fluttermane. How should we play this one, and how should we get after it? I mean, they could definitely go, like, Ice Rider Cadillacs and Indeedee, and maybe I could pull off a burn with Cerule Edge. Cerule Edge is not bad, but I think for us, maybe popping a nice little Meteor Beam could be great for us. With Terrapagos trying to get off a nice little special attack boost. That could be good. I mean, I can also taunt here, but if you're going to go in the Trick Room, chances are you're going into Indeedee, and then taunt just won't work. So that's a little tough news for us. Um, Stone Journer is not going to be bad. I kind of can get down with Stone Journer, but I think I'm going to lead Chiyu alongside with Terrapagos here just for that big time special attacking early on in the match, and then bring Cerule Edge and Stone Journer in the back end. Because again, Stone Journer has wide guard and that can buy us a turn within trick room right and sometimes buying a turn is what you guys need like say there's one turn left trick room we ran out of protects to use wide guard can really clutch up for us and really help us out waste that last turns and helping us win the game it happens so many times for us so i don't mind bringing in stone journer plus if i pair it up with any of my pokemon they're just gonna get boosted attack like chiyu or even trap ghost using terra star storm double hitting moves work the best with power spot stone journer so, we'll see who they want to lead here. If I had to guess, it's probably Indeedee, Ice Rider, Calyx, right? If I had to guess, and no, it's going to end up being these two. Ogre Pond and Ursaluna. Okay, so Ogre Pond, Ursaluna, tad bit scary. And the reason I say tad bit scary here is because I think Ogre Pond just terrestrializes, right? It would make the most sense if it just terrestrializes. So, I'm thinking of just choosing into Dark Pulse, right? And maybe just meter beaming down the slot. Actually, let's double down to Ogre Pond. Do we think we get rid of Ogre Pond? That's a real question. Ursula could protect it, or it could attack. I mean, I'm actually just going to double down to Ogre Pond. If you get rid of Ogre Pond for... Okay, that's cool. He's going to protect Ursula. I was going to say, if we get rid of Ogre Pond for Chiyu, that's fine. But we're going to end up outspeeding this guy. Drop a nice big time Dark Pulse, half in its damage, and you're outspeeding me. So we'll take a nice little trade here. Chiyu for Ogre Pond. Not too bad. I don't mind it. I don't mind it because now I'm plus one. I can bring out my Power Spot Stone Journey here. And I can potentially just terrestrialize my Terrapagos and really just start throwing shots out here. All right, that's fine. Would have been nice for us to outspeed. But, I mean, again, it's totally fine. I don't mind this too much. That's not a bad turn for us. That's not a bad turn for us. So we trade our Chiyu for the Ogre Pond and a plus one on special attack. I think that's fine. I think that's fine because now I can go into you. I get that power spot. I got that plus one already. And we can save Cerule Edge. We can save Cerule Edge. So let's see who they throw out here. Is it going to be Calyrex? It is going to be Calyrex. Now Calyrex probably not going to Terrasalize, right? Because if it Terrasalizes, then we do some big time crazy damage onto it with our... With our Terrapagos. 
And something that we could do here is we could wide guard right now, but I don't think wide guard is to play. I think we rock slide and we just look for a flinch here, right? And then we go Terra, Terra, Starstorm. I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this. Ursaluna can attack, but I mean, I think Terrapkos eats up whatever Ursaluna has to offer. And Sternjourner has focus now. So I think they're trying to go for Trick Room. I think they're trying to go for Trick Room. So we're going to pair up this power spot with Terrapkos. We'll have Cerule Edge in the back, and we'll see how this one plays. Because if Stonejourner can survive a turn, if they pop Trick Room, then we can always wide guard. Because we haven't shown wide guard yet. And we're going to see a Terra pop out from them, which is gorgeous. This turns Terra Star Storm su super effective. Into Ice Rider College, which is probably water. It is water, so that's a bad move. That's a bad move. That's why it's always good. That's why Trap Ghost is always good. It kind of forces your opponents to, to struggle to rastalize him. Because now we're going to drop a Terra Star Storm. We got plus one on this boost and power spot boost. And how much damage is it doing? That's big time damage. Rock Slide, can you finish him off? Rock Slizzle? Okay, it didn't take out Ursaluna, but we take out the Trick Room Setter. So that's a big time turn for us. That pretty much puts us in a winning position to win this match. Beautiful for us. So we get out Stone Journey here in match number one. Stone Journey is going to focus Sash up here. It sashes up and yeah, it's, it's game set match. It's game set match. Power spot Stone Journey with Terrapagos. Get it after it. Ursaluna is actually going to die out of the Life Orb, which is massive. And now it turns into a 2v1. We're not 2v1, a 3v1? Yeah, we still have Shrew Edge. We still have Shrew Edge, so let's see who the final Pokemon is going to be. And it's going to be Justice Ursfield, which I don't mind. Actually, it can do some nice damage here. We honestly should attack it. This is kind of scary. This is a scary Pokemon here. Hey, close combat, KO me. I mean, we're out speeding, so that's good news. That's good news. This should still do a nice chunk of damage into this Urshifu, and it does. It brings him down to Focus Ash. Dude, this, this combo is actually really nice. Get that Meteor Beam plus one and then just pair it up with Stone Journer. He actually KOs instead of my Terrapicus. Maybe you're sitting there thinking like, hey, maybe if I protect that, he has to attack Stone Journer, which is no big deal. I mean, I think we would win this game regardless, considering we have Shadow Sneak now too. So Cerule Edge comes out here, our final Pokemon, looking so dope. Its design is phenomenal. And we can just go for Shadow Sneak and another Terra Star Storm. I believe they cancel the match, and they don't. They let my Cerule Edge pick up the final KO. So, 1-0 to get things started. Loving this team so far. We're moving on to match number two, and we both have Terrapico. So we got double turtle power here. We love it. They also have Incineroar, Real Boom for two fake out users, Amoongus. I don't like Amoongus. That thing's going to spore me. And then they're rocking out with Rillaboom, Urshifu, and Chiyu, just like us. So how should we honestly play this one? Because it looks like to us that they want to set up their Terrapicos, maybe with Calm Mind, and really start to get after it. So a nice little lead for us could be maybe Sledge. I mean, maybe. I mean, actually, I don't really like it as a lead. I think a back end Sledge is a little bit better. We could take some speed control with you. And maybe just start taunting because, I mean, you got Cover Cloak. There's no terrain. I like Tornadus here, so we're going to honestly just lead Tornadus, maybe taunt the uh, Trap Ghost, and kind of go from there. So I'm going to do that. On top of that, I think I am going to go into Trap Ghost of my own, maybe just try to go for some Power Beams, or not Power Beams, Meteor Beams, set that Pokemon up. Yeah, so Trap Ghost, obviously going to be really good. We'll bring Cerule Edge in the back end, and then last but not least, obviously Chiyu is probably our best option. Super fast, can hit art at the same time. We like it. We do like a lot. And Cinnamon are honestly going to be annoying, but we have a few Pokemon that can take it out. And by a few Pokemon, I mean Terrapicos. So we're really going to need Terrapicos for that Incineroar. Let's see how this one plays out here. Maybe we should have brought our Stone Journer. Stone Journer could have been actually really good. Stone Journer is low key really good in Regulation G, especially with just, just having White Guard in Regulation G. Just works wonders. But let's see who they end up leading. It's going to be Terrapicos and Incineroar. So they're looking to fake out. We're going to taunt this Terrapicos, make sure it doesn't set up any combine boost. And we're going to go for a Meteor Beam. I don't think they're ready for a Meteor Beam from us. I don't think they're ready for it. I do not believe they're ready for it. So we're both going to tire ship Terrapicos on the field. On the field. Love me some Terrapicos. Timmy's going to fly. It's no problem. Special attack. Okay. So from here, we do have Swagger, which is honestly pretty good. Confusing special attackers. But again, we're just going to stick with our taunt into Terrapicos. And we are going to go into a Meteor Beam. Hopefully, they don't fake us out. Chances are they are going to fake out a Trap Ghost. No big deal. But, I mean, I'd rather take five damage, right, for a chance of getting off Meteor Beam. Maybe they'll fake out the Tornadus. That would be even better if they fake out Tornadus, considering Cobra Cloak is massive. Let's see what you got. Maybe they might just hard swap in Cinemar. They go for fake out. I'm going to Terra Shell. Okay, that's fine. No big deal. But, yeah, just, just as I expected it. 
They go, so Fake Out goes into Trap Ghost. We're gonna taunt their Trap Ghost. Chances are they're going for a Calm Mind, right? Unless you're Meteor Beam like me. That'd be a little crazy. My Trap Ghost flinches, and you cannot Calm Mind. So that's a fine turn for us. That's a fine turn for us. So from here, we already have some speed going. I think we just start throwing Bleak Wind Storms across the board. I think we just start throwing Bleak Wind Storms and on top of that, try to get this plus one onto our Trap Ghost by going for Meteor Beam. You don't know we have Meteor Beam. A lot of Trap Ghosts don't even rock Meteor Beam, so this is going to be pretty surprising for them if uh, they leave Incineroar on the field, which I'm really hoping they do. They withdraw Terrapagos. So Terrapagos gets the withdrawal. We don't go for the Tailwind just yet, and they're going to go into Amoongus, which we love. Which we love because we're dropping Bleak Wind Storm. Bleak Wind Storm's going to fly. It is going to connect, and it does big time damage onto Amoongus. That's huge. Meteor Beam's now going to fly as well, and we're going to say bye bye to Incineroar. Get it on out my face. Now, I'm loving this combo right now. I'm loving this team so far. I'm loving this team so far. So now we're going to pick up a KO onto Incineroar. Massive. And Amoongus sitting on the field. And Amoongus is going to die out to one shot of Bleak Moon Storm. So honestly, just Terrastalizing Terrapicos here is in our best interest. And sending a Terra Star Storm. We go for Tailwind here as well. Yeah, it makes the most sense. Do we want a hard swap here or do we just want to go into Tailwind? I could honestly just swagger you, but you might just go into... A Terra here, but honestly, let's just go into Terra Star Storm and just set up a Tailwind. That's not funny. You, you might Terrasalize Amoongus, but I think Amoongus dies out regardless. I think it dies out whether it Terrasalizes or it doesn't Terrasalize. Considering we're plus one special attack, Terra Star Storm just does a ridiculous amount of damage. Loveness. So I want to get a Shrewl Edge here too, because Shrewl Edge is going to be nice. So I might hard swap an extra, depending on how it really goes. But they end up just protecting Amoongus. No big deal. Not a big deal at all. I get off my Tailwind, next four turns, pretty much the rest of the game. We're sitting in such a good spot. Such a good spot. Terra Star Storm gonna fly. Little Goldfish gonna take insane amount of damage. Honestly, it might just die out to this. Terra Star Storm does big time damage. Are you gonna die to you? Please and thank you. It's not dying, but still, I like that damage here. He's gonna end up snarling us. Bring us back down to minus one, which is not cool. But now you're forcing me not to really swap into... You're forcing me not to swap into what's it called here. It's Shrewl Edge. We're just going to spam this. We're just going to spam this here. Leak Wind Storm, Terra Star Storm. Should be able to just wrap up this match. At least pick up a double KO for us. They're sitting in a tough spot. I know they want to spore me, but they don't want to Terrasalize. He's going to end up withdrawing Amoogus. He's going to bring back out Terrapagos of his own, which is no big deal. I mean, we should be able to get rid of Chiyu here. Maybe get a Speed Drop. Which would be nice, and we end up missing a Bleak Wind Storm. Actually, we don't. We just Terra Shell up. That's fine. That's fine. So we take off Terra Shell. We do pick up the KO on the Chiyu. Do we get a Speed Drop? A little Speed Drop action? Maybe, maybe not. No, we don't. No Speed Drop, but again, we're, we're out speeding for a couple turns now. The Terra Star Storm flies through here. We like the damage, and he's going to bring out a Moogus. And this is what I think he's going to do. I think he's going to go for a Rage Powder. And then try to set up like a a calm mind, but I mean, if we just double down Bleak Wind Storm and Terra Star Storm, it's it's game. This one's over with. This one was easy. This one was easy. This one's gonna be a sweep, actually. This one is going to be a sweep. No problem. You actually do get some regenerator HP. And we're back normal on special attacking, but again, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. This one's looking like a sweep. I think they cancel battle. I'm trying to think of like ways they could potentially win this. I think they can. Protecting Trap Ghost. Yeah, protecting Trap Ghost, hoping Amoongus survives. Yeah, that makes sense. That's probably their best option. We actually need to land these Bleak Wind Storm. Yeah, which I do. Doing some nice damage. Terra Star Storm should be able to finish off Amoongus. And now it's pretty much officially game. I want to swap and Shrewledge for like the longest time. But, I mean, the position that we were in, it was just like, dude, Tornadus can just Bleak and Storm. It could taunt. It could set up Tailwind. We were just sitting in such good position this whole game. So, Terra Star Storm finishes off Amoongus. We can now just double down into this Terrapagos. That was pretty light work. Once we taunted this Terrapagos, we just put him in such a terrible position. And it was a pretty obvious read, because a lot of a lot of Terrapagos is like, they need to set up, for the most part, right? And that's why this one's so good. Like, Meteor Beam just bypasses everything. Like, you can't taunt me. You can't. I mean, that's really it. <laughs> you can't taunt me. 
And then I'm doing big time damage on top of that. But finally, they cancel battle. We're sitting 2 0. Let's go use Rule Edge a lot more in match number three. Moving on to our final match, and your boy is sitting 2 0. Like I mentioned at the end of the second match, I wanted to use Rule Edge a little bit more. And now seems like a good time, considering we are going up against Rillaboom and even Zacian. Zacian, Zacian, whatever you guys want to call it. But I do like Cerule Edge here. I think putting Burn on a few of these physical attackers could really work in our favor. So I wonder who they're going to lead, though. I mean, Raging Bolt seems good. Zacian seems good. Rillaboom seems good. I mean, honestly, I like Cerule Edge for our lead. So I'm going to go into uh, Cerule Edge here alongside with Terrapagos. Do I get Terrapagos in here? Or do I get, like, Shiyu rocking out with us? That's not bad. Stone Journey's not bad. I mean, Wide Guard could help us out, but... I like Tornadoes here. I think just going to the support and trying to burn and hoping they are leading physical attackers could work in our favor. We got to bring Terrapicos in the back end. And last but not least, obviously Chi is just going to be really, really solid for us. Just having a fast special attacker with that Chewy Scarf can never go wrong with it. So hopefully they lead some physical attackers. Hopefully I can just Tailwind burn. That can work wonders. Again, I think they're going to lead like Zacian, maybe Dragonite. I mean, if I can get a burn on both of them, True Edge can be thriving. It can be thriving. Let's see what they got. Let's see what they're cooking. Hoping it's Zacian. It's gotta be Zacian, right? Zacian, Zacian. Come on, throw it out here. What you got? What you got? Roll boom, maybe? There's Zacian. Alright, that's fine by me. Do I Terrastalize? That's the real question. Does Jeans Terrastalize? I could just Tailwind Burn and sacrifice my Cerule Edge. I could do that, but I think Terrastalizing into Grass, I mean, is that really gonna help us? I think we just sacrifice this guy. I mean, you might set up a Tailwind of your, of your own. So, you know what? I'm just going to go Burn. I'm going to go Tailwind. I'm going to hope that you set up a Tailwind of your own. And then we can kind of just go from there, right? Because if you Tailwind of your own while we Tailwind here, then I can throw a Burn and then swap Shrewl Edge here again. So, we're either sacrificing our Shrewl Edge or you're going for Tailwind. Willowis is laying. That's massive. So, we burn the dog. We burn the dog. That's big time for us. That's big time for us. So they put a Burn on there. Half of their physical attack. Massive. You're going for Tailwind. You're going for Behemoth Blade right now. You should soak this with the burn all day. We that's why we love the burn. And show me Tailwind. All right, cool. So he ends up going for a Tailwind here. Now it's a good turn for us to swap into Terrapagos and kind of just go from there, right? Because I can eventually Meteor Beam down that uh, could protect here. I could protect. But I think just going into Terrapagos here and saving us for Edge is probably in our best interest. So I'm going to do that. And I'm just going to throw a Bleak Windstorm across the board. Looking for a little bit of speed drops, a little bit of speed control. I'm not really too worried about Sassy anymore. So I will save our Shrewl Edge for later. And I'll save our Terror Type. Three Terror Shift up. We're not going to at least be able to get off a Bleak Wind Storm here, which is gorgeous. And actually, you're out speeding us, so that makes sense. You're dead here. No, you're not. I told you you're getting off a Bleak Wind Storm, and he's going to do it. Lovely. Give me some speed drops. Give me some speed drops, especially on Sassy. That could be huge. No speed drops. Not a single one. Not a single speed drop. Not a single speed drop. That kind of hurts here. That kind of hurts. I think we swagger the Pelipper before we go out. I think we do swagger the Pelipper before we go out. Burn's helping us out. We're going to swagger the Pelipper. And I'm going to go for a Meteor Beam just to try to KO it. Swagger can just help us. I mean, are we outspeeding that Pelipper? That's the real question. That's the real question. Are we outspeeding this Pelipper? What's your speed? 150. Yeah, you're probably outspeeding the Pelipper. So, you know what? It's honestly no point of us swaggering the Pelipper. We might as well just go into a Meteor Beam. And go for a Bleak Wind Storm. Just in case he wants to go after Terrapicos. We can get off another Bleak Wind Storm. I mean, chances are you are just going to take me out here. And you're going to go for a Wide Guard, which is... Eh, that's okay. That's okay. It's going to dodge Bleak Wind Storm. You have close combat. Can you soak this? You do. That's beautiful. So we end up soaking. His defense is going to drop here. And Bleak Wind Storm's going to need blocks. So you had a wide guard this whole time. Maybe you thought I was going for Terra Star Storm. Alright, so we get rid of Pelipper. We're wasting out some of these rain turns. So for at least my fire Pokemon to get out here. We need this rain to end. We need this rain gone. So Pelipper going to die out here. Um, I'm kind of hoping they throw out at least a special attacker next turn. I am really hoping they throw out a special attack because I would love to just drop a swagger onto it. 
confuse it up a little bit. I, I would love to confuse Zash into Burn and Confusion, but I mean, giving it a plus two special or a plus two physical attack boost on top of its plus one boost kind of neutralizes what we did with the Burn. So let's see who you got here. What you got? You're going to end up going into Urshifu. Urshifu's a quick little booger. Let's see. What do we got? What do we got left in turns? We got Tailwind one turn, Rain two turns. I mean, protecting here, really good for us. So we're just going to protect you and... Yeah, we gotta go for Bleak Windstorm, even though we're dead here. Actually, you're just gonna attack. Protect actually not a good play here. Versus goes after my Trapagos. Ouch. He's just gonna hit through to Protect. I mean, I do have Chiyu, which is great. I wanna get Chiyu out of the range just so Heat Wave can pick up some damage. I end up protecting here. He goes for the Aqua Jet into Tornadus. That works fine then. Because now I can bring out Sewer Edge. I could Protect. I could Terrastalize. I think we have a few options here. Behemoth Blade's gonna get blocked. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. We're here. Slowing things down a little bit. Urshfu's looking a little scary. Um. Tailwind's gonna peter out on both sides of the field. Hmm. We gotta go into Shrew Edge here. I could go into you and just start throwing Dark Pulses, but I think Shrew Edge is definitely in play. Oh, we might just want to Terrastalize him, right? Into Grass? That's a little Grass Terror. And I love Shrew Edge typing, but the water moves just not, they're just not looking good here. They're just simply not looking good. We're going to go for an Earth Power here if we can land it into you. Honestly, I'd rather land it into, into you because Chiyu can pretty much clean up this Ashian. And then I'm, I'm pretty much forced to Terrasalize here. And just go for a Shadow Sneak. Just look for some damage here. I'm just looking for damage into, into Urshfu at this point. I know Bitter Blade's not going to do much. So chances are, this is what we're going to see. We're probably going to see a Surging Strikes come out from Urshifu into my Surreal Edge slot, and then Zassian probably just picking up the KO onto my Trap Face. But at that time, we swipe out the rain, which is good news for us. Shadow Sneak, how much damage are you doing? We wanted a little bit more out of that. We definitely wanted a little bit more. Here comes the Behemoth Blade. That's a KO to Rapagos, and I'm bringing out the Chiyuski. Chiyuski coming out here. I wish I had Terra Blast on this thing. Terra Blast would work wonders right now. Surge Strike's still gonna do some damage. Oh man, that's a lot of damage. That's a bit too much damage for me to handle. Oh man! That, that's a ton of damage. That's a ton of damage. But now Rain's gone. Rain is gone. That is a ton of damage. That is a bit too much damage for us to handle. Alright, Rain's gone. We have the fastest Pokemon on the field. Heat Wave is going to KO Zacian. Um. Oh man, what do I even do here? I have to Heat Wave Shadow Sneak, right? I could try to get some HP back, but Heat Wave's just gonna outspeed and KO that first, so. Yeah, Heat Wave Shadow Sneak's in our best interest. It really is. It really is. Zassian could protect and then they could just go Surge Strikes and Chi. That would be the smartest play, but I think they win this battle regardless, unless. Maybe we get some crits. I would like some crits. Crits would definitely help me out here. But we'll finally see a Terra pop out from him. Is that gonna be that's gotta be Zassian, right? You're gonna keep Zassian on the field. Now you're gonna go Urshfu into water. Yeah, I was gonna say, there's no way you're getting rid of your water typing. There's just no shot. So they're looking for bigger damage here. I think they're gonna try to maybe go for an Aqua Jet here to KO Chiyu. They protect. And now that's gonna be game. It's gonna be game. That 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 protect doing me dirty. Shadow Sneak doing a little bit more damage. Heat Wave not going to be able to pick up the KO. And you are going for an Aqua Jet. And I survive. I survived the Aqua Jet. You don't touch my Chiyu. Chiyu, how much damage are you doing to this Urshifu? And Shadow Sneak KO? Can Shadow Sneak KO? Oh my lord, they didn't go after Chiyu. We need Shadow Sneak to KO. Shadow Sneak, I need you here. We have a shot, yo. If Shadow Sneak KOs, we have a shot. If Shadow Sneak KOs, your boy has a hot shot of winning this. I'm so surprised that just happened. I thought they would go protect Zassian. Surgeon Strikes into Chiyu. He ends up just attacking this turn. That's fine. We need. I think Heat Wave KOs Zassian, no problem. Uh, they don't know where Choice Scarfed yet, though. They're going to find out right here. 
when this heat wave knocks out their Sassoon. Heat wave's gonna fly. I wonder who their back end Pokemon is. Really, I'm curious. Heat wave should KO him. Beautiful. Hold up, man. I am so surprised you went for Aqua Jet into Cerule Edge. Let's see who their final Pokemon is. It might make sense depending on their final Pokemon. It's gonna be Raging Bolt. A Raging Bolt with Thunderclap. Man, we can't do much here. We really can't. I gotta go for Shadow Sneak regardless. Which I'm gonna do. I mean, you could maybe go for a Thunderclap, but I think we're just outspeeding it with Cerule Edge. So Shadow Sneak's gonna go before Aqua Jet or Thunderclap. Oh man, but I can't do much with Heat Wave. I'm gonna need a burn. This thing's probably vested as well. Oh man, Raging Bolt. Such a heartbreaker. It's such a heartbreaker. Let's see what you're doing here. So Shadow Sneak, can you KO? I love you. That's a big time KO. So Shadow Sneak picks up the KO onto Urshifu. I wonder what they're doing here. E Web would be a play. Yeah, E Web wouldn't be bad if you got it. Heat Wave's gonna fly here. Oh man, are we missing it? And they're going for Thunderbolt. So they leave my Cerule Edge on the field. Wow, that's some damage. You're orbed. You are a life orb. So no Vest comes out here. Wish I'd go into Dark Pulse. I'm not allowed to. And what's our best interest? Heat Wave into Shadow Sneak? I could Willow a spit, but let's go for Shadow Sneak. Let's try to get off some damage. The Shadow Sneak flies. Doing about the same as it did on the Urshu. And you're Thunderclap for me this turn. Why couldn't you land Heat Wave last turn? Why couldn't you land Heat Wave last turn? Now that's pretty much game. So Rage Bolt, just a bulky Pokemon. Perfect typing, kind of just to defend my Chiu and my Screw Edge. Gonna end up winning this match. Hopefully he clicks on Thunderclap here and we crit. And then we get another crit with Shadow Sneak. That would be our only way to win. Let's see what they do. Nope, Thunderbolt. Smart opponent. Easy place for them. That's gonna be GG. So 2 1 for today's video. Love this team so much. Rule Edge and Trap Ghost get work done. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Another winning record onto the channel. We're using this off meta Trap Ghost team. I love this so much. Rule Edge, a ton of fun to use. Stone Journer got some love in it in match number one. And Trap Ghost, obviously super strong, the MVP of today's team. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.